Hello everyone, in this video I will tell you about the new Blast Furniture update from a couple of weeks ago. I will show you how much profit you can make from each bar and also the experience rates an hour for each bar. So first of all before you come to the Blast Furniture I will say get like a callback. So you can get one from the mother loan mine. You will need 100 golden nuggets to get like a callback. With a callback you can do like the Blast Furniture a lot faster and you also gonna make more profit an hour. Also be sure to wear the ice gloves because with ice gloves you don't have to wait at the bar dispenser before your bars are cold. You can just directly take them out after they have been made. So when you come here you will need coins now because the dwarves are doing all the work for you. You just have to place your coins in the coffer. But before you can start, if you are not level 60 smithing yet, you have to pay the Blast Furniture Foreman. You have to pay 2.5k before you can use it and then you can place your coins in the coffer. When the coins are in the coffer, they will reduce the whole time. So be sure you don't stay AFK now. If you go outside, the coffer stop counting down. So it's only taking coins away when you are inside the Blast Furniture. So now, if you don't have a callback yet, the best way for you is making the iron bars. Just take out like 28 of them each time and run to the conveyor belt. You can do it with your keyboard, just pressing 1 to do this faster. And you're getting like 350 smite experience each time you do this. Be sure before you start running to drink 1 doses of your stamina potion. Otherwise you will lose all your run energy and this will take you a lot longer to do this. So but for the people with a coal bag, always first do like 2 doses of coal in the conventor belt. So you never have trouble with anything. So now we first gonna make like the steel bars. But we first gonna do like 54 coal in the melting pot. So now we gonna take one inventory of coal in our coal bag and one inventory of iron ores in our inventory. Just run to the conveyor belt, click on it, press 1, empty your bag, click on it again and just press 1 the whole time. And as you can see you get 472 experience. With the ice glove you can directly take your bars out and you don't have to wait for anything. Run back to your bank and you can take like another inventory of coal and another inventory of iron ores. Since the dwarf update you don't have to wait for anything. You can do this like for hours if you want to. You can train fast your smiting to like level 99 and make like a really big profit doing this now. When you are making steel bars your profit will be around 980k an hour. Profit an hour. And also... 67k experience an hour making the steel bars but with, for people with a higher level it's better to do the material bars material bars will give you 1 million and 50k profit an hour and they will give you close to 71k experience an hour doing this when you are making material bars you sometimes have to bring like two inventories of coal otherwise you're machine will be empty and you kinda have will have trouble so it's smart to just bring like first a lot of coal in it as you will need like two inventories of coal the whole time anyway so for people who have like 70 smithing you can do like the admin bar but the admin bar is only giving you the same experience as the mitral bar in an hour and it's only making you 775k profit an hour at this moment so right now it's better to only do the meter bars but that's based on the grand exchange prices prices today so maybe like in a week the price will be different and it's maybe possible there will be more profit on the admin bars or something else but right now it's best to just make meter bars or if your smiting level is lower go for the steel or iron bars when you are 85 smithing, it's better to make runic bars because right now you're gonna make 950k profit an hour making the runic bars 
and you are getting 83k experience an hour so it's like the best to make mineral bars because they give you like the most profit but ruined bars is very close to the same profit and is given like 12k more experience an hour so right now the blast furnace is like a really big money maker for everyone you can always come to the blast furnace even for people with a lower smithing level but be sure never stand afk here or your coins will just keep dropping you can go outside with your coins still in the cover that's not a problem but be sure you never stand here afk for like a while otherwise you will lose like a lot of money just inside your cover i hope you can use the blast furniture now subscribe to my channel for more money making videos or any other guides thanks for watching